Steve, you're, you're not wearing a hard hat. We're, we're violating some manner of puss ass safety protocol. Well, I should probably be de dead by now anyway, so what difference does it make? Well, we are in a high voltage lab and we're not properly grounded. Well, fortunately, the Tesla coils aren't plugged in yet. No, no, they're not. They're way over there in the corner, but yeah. Yeah, we're far enough out of <laughs> guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It is Thursday, May 26, 2148 hours, and it's very dark in here, and I'm sorry for that, but it's nighttime, it's 2148 hours, and we're in a high voltage lab, which only has windows for light to begin with. We've got one solitary work light. That's our whole, that's it, really, because we're low budget. But look, we've got it masked. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Hi, Chris. How you doing? I just turned over and there's Dave going by. There's Steve, who is the great shuffler of scaffolding. Your so we're, we're, oh, now I'm moving into position. So we're painting. You can see the walls are very nice and white. We're doing the last bit of the last corner of the last wall. And uh, I did this one, so you can see the ceiling is all unpainted except for this one bit of ceiling. I painted one shaft because that's where the heating unit's going to go and there's going to be a big duct down there. So I painted that one so that I don't have to, I, I don't have to worry about it when the heating unit's in place. Oh. Steve, hang on. You break it. It's going to get ex Oh, we're going to make a mess. All right, you want to bring that over here? Maybe. Okay, you you move the There's like what? 2 gallons left? Okay, we're on our last little bit of paint. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bang this out, get this done, and yeah, here's your little geek group secret. In the far corner, because of the thing here, we can't we can't get up there with scaffolding or anything, and we can't mask that off. So this last little bit of corner here will be unpainted. But the room is already very nearly white, so we're hoping nobody really notices. And if they do, we'll just get up there with a ladder or something. But it's 10 o'clock, we're fried, and well, screw it. So yeah. I'll show you some other stuff in a bit. Hang on, let me get this painting done. Before, after, before, after, before, after. Oh, well, I wasn't going to do it because you didn't mask it, but let me see what I'm doing. 
seguinte. Shadow's a better painter than you are. Yeah, my shadow's an awesome painter. Hmm. All right, let's get on to the next thing. Ta -da 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 -da. Oh, oh, oh. I love having sturdy, well-anchored scaffolding. All right, let's clean out the paints for you guys. All right, so the other big accomplishment for the day is really underwhelming to you guys at home, but to us here, this is serious mojo. Um, there is, all the gear has moved out of the way and there is now a really big hole down the middle of the room. So it's starting to look like something. Um, we got a lot more stuff here, things like this is the power supply for our big laser. I don't think this has ever actually been in a video before, but that's the, uh, that's a power supply for a big YAG laser, and there's cooling stuff in there. It's kind of cool. There, it's a look that up online. It's a Spectrophysics 3450 power supply. To give you an idea of some of the, the big toys we play with, there's a couple bits down here. Um, we got a couple donations in, which I'll take a minute and show you guys. Um, we got one in from, oh god, I can't remember the name. A uh, company donated some stuff. Oh, yeah, Dark. Um, Computer load in from Dart. They send us a load about this size every week. And it's a thing. So look, there's all kinds of computers. Big IBM server. Some rack mount stuff. These are all available for member use. And uh, now we have a real printer up in the offices. So that's pretty cool. And then we just look, project boxes. Oh, hey, what's this? Hey, okay, a little itty bitty KVM. It's so cute. Ooh. That actually can go right up to master control because we just got scan converters. I'll show you guys this. Um, I wanted to show you some of the progress up there anyway. We got scan converters so we can hook a computer directly up for broadcast and they're really good scan converters with Genlock, which is kind of cool and it makes Steve all manner of nubbly and we like it when Steve gets all nubbly and happy. So let's see if I can find them. This stuff just came in and I don't see, oh hey, look at that. 2010 Video Matrix from Grass Valley Group. That looks like fun. Ah, here's the scan converter. Oh, this is neat. I, this came in. I have no idea what the hell this is. Okay, it's a VBI insertion. This might have been the thing Steve was talking about. He was like, hey, we got a thing that inserts a line. I don't know. Um, but we got these. Here's the scan converters. Computer to video scan converters. And if you look on the back, look at that. That's really useful. Playing hell trying to focus here. I'll bring my arm. There you go. Look at that. We've got um, component output, gen lock, really cool stuff. So we can put S video right into it, get or get, get S video right out of it so we can dump it and composite out so we can dump it right into our broadcasting system. Here's just some neat stuff. Hmm. Neat. Oh, wow, look at that. How cool is that? Ah! We got a uh, super disc too, one of the like 100 meg floppies. We got one of those in, in uh, today's donation shipment, so that's fun. But see, we take that and we can put four computers together. Oh, hey, brought it back. Cool. Just stuff. Stu oh, hey, um, Joe was here just yesterday, and now we have the gantry in for the autopsy set. So that's progress. It's really it's there's there's a million little things coming together. And I'm pretty happy about it. So it's good times. And now it's 22, 21 hours. I'm pretty fried. That should go up somewhere. Let's look at that. Hey Steve, I got an IP camera. Well, Steve watches the video. So Steve, there's an IP camera right there. We should get that set up somewhere. We could, we could get, you know, security video. Probably the robot out front before the kids tag it. Because it's really only a matter of time before the neighborhood's kids tag the robot. And then we're going to have to have them on camera. It's going to be a thing. Oh, look at that. Spectrophysics 3400 bias supply. 
See, there's just, there's so many amazing toys that we've got here now that I want to share with you guys. You know, it's not, it's not just the big stuff like the Lotus and the giant robots. It's, it's a million things that I want to do videos on. I want to share with you people. I want to get people come down here because somewhere there's a guy watching this video right now. Who has a use for this? Who can do something cool with it? Like, I, I have no idea what it is. It's got one of our inventory tags on it right there. It is inventory number 500752. And it's that thing. So there. Somebody out there has an idea for this. I got a bunch of them. Maybe we'll use them for boxy. Maybe Steve's got an idea. What? What do you got, Steve? Come here. I've got a time set. You, you, did you set the time? Did you get the clock set? Yes, I've got the clock set. Oh, God. You get a cookie. I tried that like eight times. No, no. You're still in there. You get back to the root screen and show me the clock's still set. You save it. Okay. We're back at the main screen, right? Yep. Here, here. Hang on. Yeah, you're, you're at the main screen. Okay. Oh, wrong button. No, right button, wrong press. Okay, it looks good. Go, go back to your thing. Now, here, let me, let me get, get out of your menu. Okay. And uh, we'll go change mode. Here, here, there. Hi, how you doing? Um, but damn it, where do we get to where we can see a clock? Not sure where it is on this one. At rest, it was showing the clock. I had it, uh, anyway. It's set. It's, you say it's set. I don't believe you yet. I claim it's set. I've had it looking like that. I, man, it's finicky. It makes me crazy. So, oh yeah, for everybody out there who's looking, here's my new radio. I have, I am, I am a, uh, ham radio guy. And this is my first real serious radio that I got. It is a uh, uh, Yaesu VX8, and I love it. And Steve loves it. Steve has a radio. You got your radio on you? Not on me right now. Okay. It's up in the lobby. So if you want to get a hold of me, I'm uh, KD8PZH. It is me. KD8PZH. That's me. And this is Steve. Hello. He's KD8LLK. Yes. yes. So, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. Over here. Look. Oh. You're an embedded systems guy. What do That's you think of that? That's interesting. We just got him in. That is interesting. I have no idea what it is, but it looks nifty. Yeah, it looks like it networks through UTP somehow. It's got mod jacks on the top of it here and power and who knows what it does, but it But looks it's nifty. It's parts and we got these things. We we have it's buzzer interfaces. Boxes which are handy. We got buzzer interfaces which are for like their brake buzzer system and we've got some routers and oh god, Steve, you got to see this. You're you're going to laugh. Check this out. We've got modems. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at that. That's, that's your state-of-the-art modem there. And uh, the modems interface via Twin-X. Twin-X? Twin-X. Twin-X. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we've got that. That's a fun time. So, yeah, and we've got a, uh, a SideQuest drive, and we have one SideQuest disk. There's, there's a video there. That's gonna be, I should do that when I do. I'm going to do a video on, like, I have a series of videos on different storage mediums, like okay. mini discs and side quest drives, all the obscure stuff that nobody knows. Laser disc? Laser disc. And we've got laser disc. Have I, laser I, have, disc. I have laser, and I have a laser disc player. I saw that. I saw we had one. <laughs> all right, that's People today's. Are thinking, What's laser disc? Yeah, there's, there's kids out there who have never heard it. It's like a CD except the size of it's a like record. It's like an 8-track. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, God, there's one. I've got a box of 8-tracks, but I don't have a player. If you have an 8-track player, let me know. We need, we need, I'm looking for all the obscure media types, everything that like, like we, beta max, beta cam, I, all that jazz. We, we, all the media that you don't get to see anymore. So you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. That is Steve Minus. It was awesome. KD8L, okay. I'm KD8PZH. Look us up. We're out there on the two meter. What's my home frequency? What's my echo link? Uh, We're on echo link. You can find me on echo link. Um, no, echo link's an awful big place. I'm one. on the menu right now here. Oh, well, yeah. it's frequency one. Hang on, we're finding it. Takes a moment. No, no, not. Oh, on mine, I've got hot links there. Oh, I don't have hot links. Oh. I'm not that good at it yet. I'm still. I couldn't set the time and get it right. Okay. I just made it. <laughs> um. Oh, you've made it angry now. I've made it angry. You've made it angry. I've Steve's it lost angry. in the menus. I feel. I feel better now because I get lost in the menus on a damn thing. So, all right, I'll let you know my frequency, and uh, you guys can look me up. But I'm out there in Echo Link. Just look me up, kd 8 pzh and uh, 73. See you tomorrow. Oh, I've dropped all the way down to the HF band. That's right. <laughs>